Hi everyone, my name is Mimi and I'd like to welcome you to Mimi's Fashion Lounge. So today, as you can see from the title and obviously from the items in front of the camera, I'm going to be talking to you about my customer experience at Chanel and the items that I bought. So I'm doing basically a mini uh, shopping haul of Chanel items. So I went to the uh, Chanel counters in Harrods, which is in London. And my reason for going to Harrods is really to do some research on a bag that I've been looking for, which is the PST, which is the Petite Shopping Tote, which is the smaller version of the Grand Shopping Tote. So I went to uh, the first counter, which is on the ground floor, and the person I spoke to said he'd been there for six months and hadn't seen it since he was there. Then I went upstairs to where they sell ladies' shoes, and also they have a little counter up there that sells ladies' accessories and clothes and i spoke to a gentleman on the uh, shoe section where they also sell ladies handbags and he informed me that the petite shopping tote sadly for those uh, chanel lovers has now become a seasonal bag so whereas it used to be a staple bag where it came out every season now it's become a seasonal bag and so it comes out or should come out he reckons probably in september so that was kind of a downer on my experience there. But it was good information because that's why I went. I went to do some research. Then as I was walking out of the shop, I noticed they were doing a 10% off item. So I went to the Chanel counter. And for those of you that know, Chanel never ever do sales. And I was looking to see whether there was a 10% poster because not every single item in the store was 10% off. And uh, a, a sales search that came up to me really nice her name actually was jay mcallister mckinley sorry and she said to me that they were doing a 10 percent off chanel items so she said was there anything particular i was looking for and i said i was looking for a chanel um uh, mirror so she said to me fine that they had them and she brought them out and she showed me the mirror and but she said I had to have a loyalty card and I said I didn't have one and she said it wasn't a problem that they could give me one straight away so it, it's not like a store card where you have to get credit checks it's just something they issue to any customer that's interested in it so I managed to get 10% off um, the mirror so the mirror originally is you can see it there camera's not focusing 26 pounds and with the 10% off I got it for 23 pounds and 40 pence so what I really like about um, my experience the lady was really polite nice friendly she even asked me if I wanted a gift wrap and I said yes it was originally put in this bag small Harrods bag and then the Harrods bag, the Chanel bag was actually put inside it. So it came in this little bag here. It was actually sealed at the top. I've opened it so that this video won't be too long. And it comes with this Chanel uh, ribbon, which has got Chanel on it. You can see that there, black ribbon. I'm just going to open it up. Which I think is really, really nice for it to be gift wrap like this it's got Chanel written all over it there as I said it was sealed originally but I just opened it so as to make the video as short as possible so I haven't actually opened it so we're actually opening it together so she wrapped it in this really nice tissue paper. As you know, can see it's got Chanel written all over it, the logo. And basically that's the mirror. So it's a double facet mirror. And she showed me just to, so I can see what it looked like when I originally took it. It comes with this felt pouch. It's got the Chanel logo on it, and inside is the mirror. So I think it's got her fingertips and my fingertips all over it. 
so you open it trying to see where you open it off here just gonna open it off camera well oh, actually hold on there we go I'm not gonna show you stuff so it's Oh, you can see that double sided mirror and one side is um, magnified and the other side is just a normal mirror so that's the mirror so the other item I bought is actually a per perfume and it's the Chanel 19 it's not the normal Chanel 19, it's the, uh, there's a new one that came out. So quick information about the service. So I saw it at the counter as you walk past the accessories um, area where they sell bags. I went and sprayed it and I went and went and went and I came back. And the sales associate told me it was £68 and with the 10% off it came to £61 odd pence. However, what she failed to tell me was that that was the price of the 50 mil and not the 100 mil. So when I got to pay, I saw 90 something pounds on the till, so which I thought was a bit strange. And she never asked me, did I want uh, uh, the small or the large one? Then I probably would have realised that the price that she gave was incorrect. Uh, I, I mean I wanted the 100 mil anyway so I paid for it and I asked her for it to be gift wrapped she took my money threw the perfume in the bag and then I looked in and I had to tell her colleague who was really really nice I really wish I got her name uh, she looked smiling or you trainer she was really really nice and she said I'm really sorry on behalf of her colleague which she shouldn't have had to do and she went behind and wrapped it and even came from behind the counter and gave me the bag which I thought was fantastic service so mixed service I feel that Chanel and all these high brand you know uh, uh, brand sellers should talk to their sales associate Chanel have been known for giving bad service you know you go to their boutiques I've had mixed service when I've gone there sometimes I get good service sometimes you know people ignore you it, it varies and every time you go in there, you never know what kind of service you're going to get. I, I feel that they need to speak to their sales associate. Buying something in a shop like Harrods is not just about buying an item, it's about the whole experience. And if I'm being honest, I had a mixed experience in, in uh, Harrods today. But anyway, so she brought it and it was in a, uh, a Harrods bag again, a big bag. And it comes with this white ribbon. Well, she, she put a white ribbon on it got Chanel over it and as you can see this one is actually sealed we can see over how it's sealed so I'm going to do unseal it now on camera okay so I'll just remove the ribbon so that was really nice it's really nicely done up and it has that as I said it has that Chanel ribbon on it which is really nice and they just, but I feel that I didn't shouldn't have to have to have asked. Should have offered it to me, rather than me having to ask her to gift wrap it. So again, it comes with that nice Chanel paper. And it has the Chanel logo on it. Oh, and look, she actually, oh, that is fantastic. I haven't actually seen that. See, she really, oh wow, that was fantastic. I'm going to write a letter. That comes with that ribbon on it. I'm really impressed. The paper has the Chanel logo on it. You probably can't see it. And she really went out of her way to wrap it up. I and mean, she just put the paper on it. She actually wrapped it in. I think that's fantastic. So, this is the perfume I bought. Oops, and that's Chanel 19 Pour Deux, and it's Eau de Parfum, and it's 100 mils. So, put that down there.
so I it was originally 95 pounds and that's the sales associate who's who sold it to me that's her name there as a G Giagamazzi sounds Italian I might be wrong so it was originally my camera is really blurred at the moment so you probably won't be able to see the price it was originally 95 pounds I got 10% off and it cost me 85 pounds 50 I'm sure if you went to YouTube free, you probably can get it cheaper. But I mean, to be honest, I, I wanted it, so I'm not going to complain about, you know, you know, how much I paid for it. I still got something off more than I would have if I bought it full price. So that was my experience. As I said, I feel that Chanel and all these high brands need to talk to their sales assistants. And I am going to be writing to Harrods because I wasn't really happy with the way I was treated the second time. Um, Yes, I didn't spend a lot of money, but buying in Harrods is all about the experience. And I feel I felt I got a mixed experience. And I feel that they need to speak to their sales associates because it's not just buying beauty products. It's even when you go to the, the, the boutiques that you get people who are not particularly nice to you. And as I said, I've had mixed experiences. Not all my experiences have been terrible. I've had mixed experiences where I've been ignored. No one's been particularly rude to me, but you know, I've been ignored and mixed experience where people have gone out of their way to help me, you know. And the last time I went there, the lady was was nice. She was really nice. And, you know, she showed me a lot of stuff and uh, she gave me some good advice and she took my name. So that's the end of my haul. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it informative. If you have any questions, please, or comments, put them in the box below. And if you enjoy my videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.